Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Liberty Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Liberty Herbicide are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a couple of new seed traits that are coming on the market here in the next couple of years. Enlist and dicamba. I was wondering where you're going to go with that. <laughs> Coming on the market in a couple of years, it might be next year, it might be <laughs> yep. a couple of years, it might never happen. <laughs> Who knows? Because when we get to the regulatory process, especially when we're doing the regulatory process in China or another country, we don't really have much control over that. So yes, we do have some new traits that we're really excited about. We hope they make it to market soon because they offer some benefits, especially in terms of weed control. So with weed control in the United States today, there are a lot of Roundup resistant weeds. And there's really nothing new with this phenomenon. You know what? Even back 30 years ago, there were some weeds that Roundup was kind of weak on. Well, what do you think has happened here over the last few years? If everybody's spraying Roundup, all the weeds that Roundup kills easily, we've eliminated those, we've handled those, no real problem. It's just now we've got a real issue with the weeds that Roundup doesn't do very good on. So we do have other herbicide options, but the problem is they aren't real great, especially in crops like soybeans and cotton. So that's where these companies like Monsanto, and Dow have been developing seeds that can tolerate either dicamba, that's the Monsanto and BSF side, or 2,4-D, that's the Dow trait we're going to talk about today. Now you may be saying dicamba, 2,4-D, we've had those products out for decades. That's not anything new for us, but it's new that you could spray them in the crop. The other thing that's new about them is both BASF and Monsanto, as well as Dow, what they have tried to do is to improve some of the physical characteristics of 2,4-D and dicamba, namely drift, whether it's physical drift or more commonly volatility. So this volatility thing is where the product actually picks up and moves afterwards. This is not real common, but it could happen with the old dicamba, the old 2,4-D. The new products that will be out, you'll see dramatically less issue with the new 2,4-D that's coming out. The new dicamba, I guess we'll see what happens when that does get out on the market. But all we can say is we're excited about this from an agronomic perspective because now we have other options that we before couldn't spray in cotton or soybeans, and now we will be able to. So that'll be great because we know that 2,4-D and dicamba are pretty good on most Roundup resistant weeds, especially if the farmer sprays them when they're small. You know, the weed control is great, both from dicamba and 2,4-D. The real concern from the non-farm public has been, what's the safety of these products? Well, here again, it's something that kind of puzzles me because we've used dicamba and we've used 2,4-D for 30 or 40 years. This is something that's going on tens of millions of acres every year across our country right now. We're using 2,4-D and dicamba in pastures and roadside ditches and non-crop areas. We're also using dicamba on tens of millions of acres of corn every year. We're using 2,4-D on millions and millions of acres of wheat and small grains. These are products that are out there right now and have been proven safe for a long time. So not only is it the product safety that people have been concerned about but I mean hey these products have been out for 40 50 years the safety is pretty well proven and we're not that concerned about that side of things but then you've got the other side oh it's a new trait and it's GMOs genetically modified organisms you know what everything has been genetically modified that's human nature that's what we've done for thousands of years we have modified plants just by simple genetic crossing that's what we do mother nature does it all on its own for one but yeah also human beings are involved in those kind of things it's nothing to get that concerned about but I guess I'm happy that the testing has been done. I'm happy that it's been proven safe. So we don't have any real big concerns with this stuff going forward, but it is just another thing that's out there. So people understand, hey, biotechnology is involved in some of our corn, soybean, and cotton crops. Well, there are some new traits coming. We focus today on the Roundup Ready to Extend trait and also the enlist trait, where you can spray dicamba or 2,4-D right in some very important crops like cotton and soybeans that we're pretty excited about. This will provide some extra weed control options for farmers, which should mean more food production and more fiber production for the world, which is a really good thing. The other side of it is the herbicide solutions that we're talking about, dicamba and 2,4-D. Those products have been greatly improved to reduce volatility concerns and to alleviate any safety concerns that people may have. There's been lots more testing done on them. So we're excited about these new things coming out. Hopefully, they'll be good options for our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 